What's going on, y'all? What is going on? I miss y'all. I did. I miss you guys so much. Uh, I am headed to Walmart for my mama. I know y'all gonna laugh and be like, girl, did you just put up a haul? Yes, I did. But I'm going for my mama. Like I told y'all, I'm at the end of the house for us. Jesus. <laughs> Somebody being a cracky, you know, whatever. You know. I'm going to Walmart for my mom. Like I say, um, I just put a haul up. I got my window down trying to get this heat out of here because this is the first time I've been in the car today. And I've y'all seen my uh, the video that went up today, which is Saturday. Y'all know I say I hate driving. I just hate driving, so I'm going the back way. Jordan was home feeding Mama E and getting her in the shower and stuff. And then Mama wanted, she requested. I went in her room and she said, do you feel like, she said, if I get really, really wanted to go to the store, do you feel like making me some jambalaya and some fried corn? Because she said that's what she's been having a taste for, jambalaya and fried corn. And I'm like, yes, Mother, I'll make it. But I'm not doing anything today. But tomorrow, which is Sunday, I'm going to make it for her. Because that's what she wanted for tomorrow. She said she just don't feel like making combo. And like I said, if she want it, I'm going to give it to her. That's just like Mama E. If she asks for it, we're going to give it to her. Because I, I want them to be happy. I want them to be satisfied. And so I'm going to Walmart. Because the only reason I'm going there and not Winn-Dixie. I do want to go to Winn-Dixie and get me some more pineapples. However... I'm not going to go. I'm just going to go to Walmart. I'm going to get, because I have a little left, because Philip is tearing my pineapples up, y'all. This boy loves his pineapple. So, yeah. I'm going to see if they have a good looking one that's reasonable there and I can cut it. But as I was telling y'all in the videos, them, them pineapples has been so little. Um, so, I don't know. But, going for her and she needs some more milk so I'm going on to get two gallons of milk jambalaya and stuff and um, what else was I saying? because I already got the stuff for the corn the jambalaya stuff two gallons of milk I don't think it was anything else she has Oh, and about my pineapples. And it's still early. It's not super early. It's 1030. So it's still fairly, it's early enough. But y'all know I told y'all, if I'm going to go to the store, I got to go early in the morning or late at night. But I'm going to go and go. I'm going to suck it up and I'm going to go and I'm going to come right back home. And I pray that I don't have to go out anymore today. I don't have anything else, you know, um, that's going on today. I was not feeling well last night. Um, and the, the funniest thing, and I prayed on it this morning, I'm fine. But like yesterday, um, I don't, well, I haven't been vlogging. But I told you guys that Alicia's grandfather passed away, her dad's dad passed away June 23rd. Um, and y'all know they from here, live right next door to us, but they um, had moved to California. They have been living in California. So he was on hospice for a while. He passed. Um, so he transitioned. And it was sad um, because, like I said, I've, I've been knowing this man. He knew me since I was a baby. And I have just been knowing him and his entire family as I grew up. So he was always like that uncle to me, you know. And he was real close to my mom and them growing up. I've always told you guys that that Alicia grandparents and my mom and my Uncle Jack and my Aunt Mary and all of them, Uncle John, all of them has always just been real close to each other coming up. They grew up together. Um, so, of course, when me and Alicia dad ended up getting together, you know, they became like my parents. See, that's just how it was. You know, they was there for all of my children. So, like I said, when, once he passed, it was sad. And I, we knew he was sick for a while. But the only thing that gave us comfort is that he was no longer in pain. Um, because he, he suffered um, really, really badly. Because his lungs and stuff had collapsed. 
he was on a breathing machine and it hurt him just to breathe. So that was the comfort that he's no longer in pain. He's in with God and the way that he lived his life, it was so comforting to know, you know. Um, so he gained his wings, you know. So, um, and I did not attend. They had, he was cremated, of course, and they had his service at the VA, um, the VA cemetery, just like they did with Alicia Father. And I wasn't able to go because Mama had a doctor's appointment that same day at the same time. And I couldn't reschedule her appointment. Um, but Alicia's grandparents came over yesterday. Now, I I was feeling okay. I was feeling pretty good yesterday. It wasn't a good day, but it wasn't a bad day. And my mama got on me last night because a couple of days ago, I did a full deep clean in the kitchen to where everything, like in the bottom part of my cabinets, I took every single thing out, the, dra the drawers and everything. I uh, put all of like the plastic containers and Tupperware stuff, all of that. I put it in the dishwasher, everything else. Um, I hope y'all was able to see me and didn't fall too low because I couldn't see it. Um, and everything else I had um, hand washed and I wiped the inside of all my cabinets out. Like I did a full deep clean. I got rid of a lot of stuff. I reorganized my pots and pans and I took my time doing it and I was feeling well. And then the next day I rested. The day after that, which was yesterday morning, I ended up doing my, um, my room. And I purged a lot of stuff, got rid of a lot of stuff. I redid my dresser and my stands, all of that. I took out stands and threw them away. I gave one to mama because she wanted I was going to throw it away. She wanted it. Um, so, did all that yesterday. And I felt fine afterwards, right? But then, I don't know. Like, I just, I went in the living room and I was talking to my mama. And my brother Thomas and his wife Tony came by before then. Um, but I was laying in my bed because I just like I started feeling bad. Like I felt like a heaviness on my chest. You know how they say like you feel like somebody's sitting on your chest. That's how I, like something is sitting on your chest. That's how I felt. And it wasn't pain. It was just uncomfortable. And then like the back of my neck and like the center part of my back started hurting. This part of my arm and shoulder was hurting. And I was like, oh, Lord, I have heart medication. I have two. I got nitroglycerin and I have propanolol for when I'm having palpitations. So I had <laughs> called Philip because I, I was sitting on the couch by mama and I had called Philip and I had told him to go get my medicine and I taught him when I say my heart medicine, I taught him exactly what it was. So he went in there, he got both of them, brought them to me with some water. So I was, I took that and I just sat there and I was breathing slowly. You know, I just I, yeah, I was calming myself down because I didn't know if it was my anxiety or what. Um, and <laughs> I had, right before that, I was reading Alicia Grandfather's obituary because Alicia and them came by earlier that day and she brought it and gave it to Mama, but I didn't get to see it because me and Alicia and Quinn and Jordan was in my room talking. And she was telling me about everything and you know, the um, luncheon afterwards and everything, because he did his whole obituary. He, he wrote out everything how he wanted it. Um, so we were talking about that and just laughing and stuff and going through old times and talking about old times. So everything else it was good, but after, after I read, and when I read the obituary, I wasn't crying, I wasn't sad or nothing, but it was like maybe two minutes after, like I said, I just, this feeling came over me, and like I said, my chest got heavy, and it just, ooh, it didn't feel good. So I called, like I said, I, after I took my medicine, I called myself and all of that. And then um, I went and took a bath. So I was in the tub. I was praying. I was talking to God. I'm like, Lord, whatever this is, just, please just remove it. Just please remove it. And it was so hot. I was sweating. And I was in a cool tub. I had my fan in there blowing on me, but I was sweating. So I'm like, well, maybe it's just hot flashing. Child, I ain't know. Then I started getting nauseated. And then my stomach, like my stomach was starting to feel upset. So I was like, okay, well maybe if I throw up. Now, before anybody say, nurses and doctors and all of that make the worst patients. Yes, we do. Because I knew in my head, I'm like, okay. Discomfort in your chest. 
pain in your arm and your back. Nausea. Upset stomach. All that stuff. It's signs of angina or heart attack. I took my and I took my nice glycerin, which that's what they'll give you. Or even aspirin. I took, but since I didn't need the aspirin since I had my nitro. And then uh so I took my heart medicine. I ended up taking my blood pressure. My blood pressure was fine. I paused all of that stuff was fine. <laughs> so like I said, I just went and took my bath and I just relaxed and talked to God. And then I got out the tub. I was still sweating so bad. So I took another one of my propanolols and I just got in the bed. And it eased up. And then my mama came. <laughs> now, you did too much. She was fussing. And I respect it. She was like, you did too much because you've been taking me to doctors and it's been so hot. And you, <laughs> and when she's right. And she was like, and it's just been so dang on hot. And, you know, she was fussing at me. Yeah, she should have. Um, and she was like, and you did that full deep clean in the kitchen. And then you turned around. You rested the next day, then you did a full deep clean in your room, and it was just too much. You just did too much. And I said, well, my mind got nothing to do with mama. <laughs> and she said, well, you better not. And I was like, and I ain't got nothing for Sunday. I said, I can rest because this upcoming week, we got doctor's appointments. So I was just like, Lord, am I going to I waited for somebody to back up. So I was just like, Lord, Jesus. <laughs> so you know how you just be in your mind like... So, yeah, so I was just in my mind like, Lord, <laughs> but I feel okay. Like, today I feel fine. I don't have a heaviness in my chest. Like, I, I don't feel bad at all. I feel good. Um, I did take my thyroid medicine this morning, but I did not. Um, I don't know why this thing just keep falling, but I did not take my um, anxiety medicine yet. But I'm going to take it when I get back. Because I try not to take anything within like an hour or so of taking my thyroid medicine. Um, and I normally take it when I first wake up in the morning. But I didn't. I only just got into what I... Because I slept in until about 7.45. And then... So, you know, I... I'm just bored. I don't know. It's a lot of... Morning. Lord have mercy. But yeah, I don't know why this thing keep falling. It don't usually fall like that. Um, I don't know if it's just the heat or round tank just keep loosening it. I don't know. I'm talking about people on everywhere. It's not usually a lot of people on this side. But baby, folks, it's everywhere. Where? Jesus. I need you to go home. <laughs> you know you drive around a parking lot and you like, child, I just might well go my tail home. That's how I feel right now. Like, girl, go home. You go home. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about going to Walmart today. Just go home. <laughs> it's okay. If you can't find a parking spot, that many wasn't for you to find. You go home. That's how I feel right now. Ugh. Now I know them people got in that car. Okay, she looked like she's gonna go. Oh, he just pull out some. Okay. Come on, Uncle Buck. Well, I'm finna go in here and get this stuff from all y'all. And, um, I'm going home. But it's, it's, it's just a lot. It's too many people. It's too many people. And it's hot. But, uh, I'll see y'all. Hey, y'all, I'm back. I'm almost by my house. I had to text my sisters right quick. Check on them, see how they was doing. But, uh, it is hot. 
right now it is 102 and that's without the humidity it's just 102 um temperature wise and it's not even a wind blowing it's just <laughs> but i know everybody dealing with it and i know it's everybody getting repetitive saying it but it is what we currently dealing with and i'm going in um it was a lot of people in the store i was talking to this um lady in there and she said she just left Walmart. I mean, when Dixie and when Dixie was crowded, this other lady at the counter was saying they had went to Sam's and Sam's was crowded. And I guess people just trying to get food for their kids, you know, for the weekend and for lunch since schools are back in and just trying to stock up. That's why I said when I go, I'm going to go midweek and I'm going to go early in the morning when people at work and their kids at school. Not on a weekend or nothing. And not after school to get out. So, oh, yeah. And that's pretty much what you were saying, like sandwich stuff and, you know, just like I said, just food for the kids for the weeks and snacks and drinks and juice boxes and water and like stuff like that. So I ran in, got just what I needed. I needed me some prep containers. I was talking to my sister Tawana about it because she went, I want to say last week or so, got her some and I needed some more and I got, I think it was... I wanted the 30 pack, but I didn't get the 30 pack because I said I'm going to wait on that because I'm going to go on Amazon and see if I can get some cheaper because it just seemed like it was overpriced there. But I got the 15 pack for $9. Um, so, and they just the basic black one. I like the different colors, the pinks and the blues, but they was all fold out. So I just ended up getting the black. It's fine. Um. And I needed me a new small little garbage can for my bathroom. And surprisingly, it was only 98 cents. And if I'm not mistaken, those used to be 50 for the small one. But I just got one because I, like I, I need to replace it for my bathroom. And I got mama stuff. And I was able to find some pineapples. They still small, but they're a little bit bigger. So don't laugh at me, but they're a little bit bigger than the other ones was. And they four ninety eight. Um, I was telling God five dollars, but it's okay. I got two because I know Philip loves to eat them, and I love to eat them. I put them in my water, I put them in my lemonade, um, and I just eat them, and he eats them. So I got two. I'm gonna go home and cut them up. Um, and I got them to where I know they was ripe, so I'm just like, I'm gonna go cut them. I need to rinse my grapes off. I've been waiting to do it because ain't nobody really ate them. Um, so I'm gonna rinse them off with my baking soda and stuff. And I had to get some cleaning vinegar, some more bleach, some more Mr. Clean. It always seemed like when you go to the store, it's something you have to get. Because I'm like, me and Jordan just went yesterday and I got washing powder and all of that. But I forgot we didn't have any more bleach. So I had to get some bleach. And I'm like, Jesus. And then I'm thinking like, what the heck? So I said, we needed some more me the Mr. Clean of Pine Saw, but I got the Mr. Clean because the Pine Saw was a little bit more. And <laughs> um, I'm like, man, you just, just, you just can't. Like, goodness, Lord have mercy. Like, just one day that I can just go in the store and just buy something I want instead of getting something that I need. Like, Lord, Lord, Lord. But it's coming. I'm still claiming it. I am still claiming it. In Jesus' name, I know it's going to happen. So, I'm about to go in here, um, and it's something else that I got. Oh, I got me some more of my knee cup cookies. Y'all will see the haul, because I'm going to put the haul up on another channel. But the, for those of you guys who watch over here, I don't know why this thing want to adjust. But for those of you guys who watch over here, and it seems like it's just skipping, um, that don't really watch the haul, I'm just telling. But I'm about to go inside and get my phone off of here because it's too hot to have it sitting up here. And my hair is combed. Y'all see it? If y'all seen the video, I dyed it. I just put my little head thing on because I just did. I thought it was cute with my outfit. I don't feel like getting out of this car because this air feels so good, but I ain't trying to be in this heat. So I'm going to go on this side. Now get up so I can see here because I'm going to yes, show you what to do, but I'm going to sit down while you do it. So I got to stand up. Yeah. Child, look. Uh-uh. You young. Big boy. Yeah, you young, though. You got big boy. Okay. What you gonna do, big boy? You gotta give me some more. Well, I'm gonna put it on my 
y'all. We back. We in the kitchen. Yes, sir. What? I I just got three things on mine here from Daniel Coleman on the bottom. Okay. Some guinea snap, some cottage cheese, and some root beer. That's what you told me yesterday. That's your three things. Go over there and get your spoon. You need a wooden spoon because you can't use a metal spoon. That one right there. No, 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 no. That oh. right there. Because oh. you can't use a. That way. Okay. You got it. You wash your hands already? You need <laughs> put it down. What you need in there? Okay, that's why I told you to preheat your, your walk. All right. Now you're gonna take your fork and you're gonna move your meat around, like kind of mush it up. Not too much, just enough. Be making him some quesadillas again. Just spread it out in your pan. Um, it's like a taco. Okay. And it's a good as well. Now, you're going to get the onion powder, the garlic powder, the tomato accessories. Can I get the red top? Huh? Can I get the red top? That one don't have salt in it. You want the oven? You can get the oven on. You want the red top? I call it the red top. I like the red top. It tastes good. Yep, fill up. Uh -uh. No, you don't need all that. Give me one pack. Better <laughs> No, give me. You need one pack. Give me the rest. You need this one and the taco. That's all you need. Cookies. I don't think you need that much. I'm going to grow up to be a cook. You go ahead, boy. Alright, now go on and put your seasoning in there. I'll tell you how much. The only reason I'm telling you don't put no extra salt because those seasoning packets got salt. You can use a good bit of onion and garlic powder. Alright, that's good. I'm glad you're not heavy handed in your, your sprinkle. You don't dash. There you go. You're doing good. You're sprinkling. You're learning. Which one is that? The garlic? Yep. You can use a little bit more garlic than onion. Alright. Now put the Tony Tassarys. Do I really need this? Because you said don't put too much salt. No, you just go ahead. You can just oh. You can just put a little. Yeah, it's a tiny bit. What's next? Y'all see he ain't heavy hand. Now open up your two season pack in four minutes. I'm happy I'm not heavy handed. That's four. Mm -hmm. gonna put it all in there. And that got like all your corn and chili stuff and all that. Well, we're gonna say, I hope you have fun for your birthday. Look at Riri. Look at the look at the camera. She look pretty. Riri birthday. Watch out. Slide up something. Look at her. She look cute. I, look, I thought she just had on the yellow. You just had on the yellow skirt. Why you trying? Yeah, we here, Mama. I know. She gonna say what we'll leisure tonight, y'all. And then some, when your birthday too. Her birthday is too Wednesday. Oh, that's right. Her birthday is Wednesday. And Alicia's grandmother's birthday is Sunday, which is tomorrow. You're lucky. So they're going out to eat at the boat. Alicia treating them. You're lucky. I didn't get to go so to she's Chili's. staying by Alicia tonight. We still going to Chili's. I told you that. Mama. We're going to go this upcoming weekend. Not oh. today, but next week. Huh? Yeah, we're going next weekend. It was supposed to be. Well, we would have went this weekend, but you needed shorts and paint supplies, remember? And your list kept going up. Remember that list you gave your mama? And that list kept going up and kept going up. All right. Now, sir. Mm -hmm. And she look pretty. And I'm throwing away because I got to do my body. Yeah. 
it is hot out here. Yeah, you always tell me where you're going. Uh -oh. Mama, yeah, I just mama. found out. <laughs> tell your mama where you're going. Alicia called me last night at 10.30 and told me that she was taking me out. She just told me. I really want chilies. Well, I, I want some cheesy. Yeah. Right. I want some yeah. cheesy. Yeah. What's that so called? I want Be careful. She's yes, ma'am. Let me know when you make it. Oh, okay. Let me know when you make it. Be careful. Make sure you get that off the side. Mm -hmm. Now, once you get all your stuff mixed in, you got your meat mixed in. Child, when you get back, that's going to be gone. Because Philip told him chicken quesadillas up. Mitchell had two. I think Deontay had like maybe three. Little right. boy. Uh, I don't know. I think they eat on the table or they on the counter. Do you but want you your key? Yeah, you got to take my car keys off. I mean my house keys off. That's good. Now, just let it all sit and cook. Wash your pork off. Put all your seasoning up. And you're going to wash your bowl. Get, you do that? get all your cheeses out that you need and get your quesadilla stuff out. I feel like I already have all my cheese out. Boy, you only got one pack of cheese. Uh, you ain't watch that. You gotta put some. Yeah. I lost my Apple Watch. That's the first thing. What you mean you lost it's, it? It's somewhere in my room. Well, it ain't lost. Well, here, put this on the. Uh, I was gonna wear my Leo shirt. So I wanna There you go. You can tell we use this a lot. Did you use soap and water? Yes. I think this whole house was shit. Yeah, you don't just care for sheen. Is that how it's pronounced? Yeah, sheen. She It'd be funny when people say sheen. My she tennis skirt, they got shorts under it. It's from sheen. She now, see, you need help. But my Nike shoes I got from this girl I worked with. And y'all know I work with them, so I asked the lady how you pronounce it, and she said it's actually like it's spelled sheen. And people have been calling me sheen, and I knew it wasn't sheen, but well, hey, it ain't my place to well, correct yeah, nobody. You look beautiful. Okay, now here. Come down here and you're going to get out, get out your, uh, you got to look down there and get out your calendar. Do not make a mess. Which one? The big one and the other one. You just need the little white one. Oh, my shoes. They just like the shoes. And then. This one, right? Yeah. This is the little one I get from you. Yeah. We're going to get quesadilla stuff. I mean, your burritos. Now you got to wipe off your, um. How much more I make it? Get you a wash rag with some soap on it. Uh, this one already has soap on it. Okay, well, wipe off your stove. Yeah. Mom, I've wiped my the soap off before. I'm going to wash this with soap and water. Mm, it smells very, very heavy. You're going to put this in the sink so you can drain your meat. I'm going to show you how you're going to do this. Okay. Get the rest of your uh get the rest of your cheese out. Okay. What else can I have? I don't know. Just get out with your Yeah, just get out whatever cheese you wanna put on it. You're going to take your piece of aluminum foil and put it down. It's just going to help you clean. Make it. When you get ready to clean up, it's going to be easy. Because all you got to do is pick this up wipe the time off. Yes, ma'am. Put that back in the cabinet. Yes, ma'am. I've been trying to show you how to cook to where. Let the teachers wear surprise when I bring my No, not that. Open that drawer. It go in that drawer where the ziplock bags are. Oh, them teachers wear surprise whenever they turn my knee boys. Now, get the fork, get your the spoon, that spoon thing back out and straighten it. See how it's starting to get brown? And it's easy just to use the wok because the wok will cook it easily and a little bit fast. But it'll be all cooked. This is taco meat. I know. I want it. What? Chicken. I mean, not chicken. I want it um, a quesadilla. It is. How's this going to make a quesadilla? Do you trust me? I asked you, did you want chicken or ground beef? And what did you tell me? Ground beef. Okay. Because ground beef is the easiest one to make. Yes. So it's gonna you're going to have it. But it, just like when I did the chicken, I did it with the fajita seasoning, right? The last time, what did you make it with? Steak? You made it with steak the day you enjoyed made it. And then when I made it, I made it with the chicken. 
And now you have them with the ground meat. As long as your meat season, you'll be good, child. Okay, Okay, that's good. Now let it finish cooking. You got probably about five more minutes on it. And then once all your meat finished cooking, you're going to drain it. You're going to drain it, and then you can just put it back in here, because you don't need to go through no extra. You're going to put it back in here, and then I'm going to show you how to layer everything, okay? Sound good to you? Okay. All right. You can turn up your fire up a little bit. I'm not right. Get you, I tell you what, what have you got? Get you a container from down there. Get the, oh, you can use that one. Never mind. Go over there and get that little red one. That's right. down there. The one your mama said she was that right there. Just rinse it out. I'm out of I just washed it, but just rinse it. Just run some water under it and dry it out. You don't have to use some. And then after you drain it, you're gonna put it in there. And all you need is your butter for your, your um, to heat up the case of There's a lot of salt in this thing. A lot of what? Salt. Wash the bottom of it. I did. So, oh, you ain't sitting on me. Your meat almost done. Stir it. <laughs> you don't take long with brown ground beef. I'm going to move out your way because I don't need my legs with ground beef on it. Smell right. good, though. I need to start making me some ground beef for myself. You know, if you do that, if you can do that, you can make your own um, pancakes. Hamburg, hamburg milk. Ooh, I can. Because all you would do is put the packet in there. After you brown your meat, you put your packet. Hamburger helper it takes like a good 30 minutes, though. Not really. Well, Once you brown your meat, you add your cheese, the cheese powder and noodles and all that and some water. And you just turn it down and let it cook. What did you already do? You can make spaghetti. Yep. All you need is your base. I'm only 12 years old. I'm already cooking. There you go. Some kids be cooking that too. Well, you've been cooking since you was 10. I've been cooking you just cook certain things. Well, no. I've been since you grow a lot when my mom was showing me how to cook. Six years old. Well, mama. You should show me how to cook. Well, in this generation, some kids are like 13 and they still can't cook. Some don't want them, and some do. All right, now come over here. You're going to drain your meat. I do it for you. I don't want you to burn yourself. Please don't. Please don't. I'm going to grab both sides. I don't want to burn myself. What you mean? You don't want me to burn myself. I don't want to burn myself. This joint is going to be so much. Every second. This is a whole tea extract. No, it's not. What? <laughs> I need to go rinse out your pan. Okay, tickle, tickle, and I'm closing this hot tank. Gotta sit down for a second. Just turn it off for the time being. Now turn the fire back on. Okay. Because you shouldn't start doing your quesadillas. Alright, get your napkin. You want the flavor from your meat. I get your little butter. Any butter I got? Yes. That goes in the bathroom where me and Deontay stay. Right. Hey y'all. Feel about to take off the shit over the way. Cause I wanna be like how one day. I just wanna cook just like this.
A spoon, then you got a spoon to wash and a spatula to wash. Yeah. I want you to minimize the mess. Because y'all been doing stuff at PE that your muscles ain't used to. Remember I told you that? Oh. oh yeah, I forgot I can just sprinkle it on there. Nothing happened. Huh? I know you didn't see it either. Like... This one in four or eight. As much as you can make it. Alright, that's it. Now put your pack, close your pack up. And then we have two more. for me. 
I'ma make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. Tell them give it to me when I want it, please. Wait till I not look for it. Count down for me. 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight that, I'ma make you wait for it. On my time. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. It cuts very easily. Yep. And after this, I can just go in my room. Oop. I need to do that. Just take the time, you ain't gotta rush. You done? Kind of? Now you doing good, go ahead. I can tell you never had a job working at a pizza place or a burrito place before. I'm a kid. You doing good. Just hold it. It's not that high. Hold it in the middle. Like right there. And they go put just press down on it. It'll cut easy. You're working too hard. I did it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to take it and put it on the plate. Okay, now this is the part I'm gonna yeah. of. Well, when all these dishes dry, that's what you gotta do. Wash them. No, when they dry. When dishes dry, what you do? Put them away. So when they all dry, you gonna put them up. Hey. So you actually can put that pan up now. Hey, that's at New Orleans. Uh huh. Put that pan up. I never noticed that's at New Orleans. That's the one that we got when y'all went over there. Go and put the pan back where you go. See now you put. I don't know. I think Ross or somewhere. I don't know. One of them stores I got it from my mom. And this is all you're going to do. You're going to pick it up just like you pick up a pizza. Look. Um, with the fork and put it on there. The fork? I mean, with the spatula. That's it. You're just picking it up. Well, you can tell I've never worked at a pizza place before. Let's cut some things up for you now. Now you're going to put this in that little one. Take that. Pick that up. Hold it up. It ain't hot. Aluminum foil ain't gonna get hot. It'll get warm, but it ain't gonna burn. So, it won't. I mean, if you put over a fire now, yes, it will definitely get hot. And, and then, all this is all you gotta do is take your wash rag and wipe it up. Cool. Easy clean. Because aluminum is not conductive. Well, that's why. energy. So, if you put it like in between all the electricity, a two battery is, you know. You get power. Well, that's why you see when your mama cook. I put stuff on the aluminum foil like that. Yep, because you don't. Boom. And it'll make it easy. It makes your clean up a whole lot easier. Nobody got all day to clean up. Now, see whatever dish is still in there, wash it. So that way you won't have no dishes to wash. I think it's just the pizza cutter. And be careful. What you go fill up? Beef case it is. Heck, the only time you get cold water is if you change to the hot to the and cold And they meaty and they look good. So he about to sit down and eat. Every single last one of them. I love being in the kitchen with you. It's very fun. I enjoyed you. <laughs> so go and get your plate, eat your food. Oh, get your piece of aluminum foil and cover your plate up. And I'm going to show you all my food. And this fish is not dry or anything. And the salsa. It's so good.